like, what's with everyone hooking up online anyways? I just don't get it. Well, it's easy. Andrew, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Okay, look, I know people through their Twitter profiles, not the fact they snore five feet from me in class. Of course it makes more sense for people to hook up online. But I mean, how do you actually get to know people? It, it just doesn't seem natural. It's school, no one cares. But I mean, no one knows who you really are online. Sure they do. They know that I go here, that I take classes here, and love a good can of Coke when I can get one. And yet we're here buying a hat to impress some girl in your sex ed class. Okay. I'm willing to hook up with people online, but every once in a while I actually find someone who I actually like, okay? And sometimes a peacock's gotta spread his feathers. I don't know, doesn't it feel more genuine meeting people in real life though? No, look, okay, I'm willing to go for both. I don't know, I just, I don't think I'd ever be able to get to like someone without getting to know them first. You never even tried? No. Okay, that sounds like a you problem. Yeah, this one works. Whatever. All right. Andrew, I don't know why you're asking me this. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'd be able to develop a relationship with someone online. It's not going to lead anywhere. All right, well, talking in person clearly hasn't gotten you anywhere. <laughs> Cash or credit? Welcome to the 21st century. Andrew! Andrew, get up! Um, uh, what do you want? Just go on without me. Dude, Constance is gonna get pissed. You better head down there. Uh, it'll be fine. Just give me a minute. All right, okay, fine. Okay, so how was everyone's weekend? It's Wednesday. <laughs> I hate my schedule too, Steve. Well, my weekend, which includes Monday and Tuesday, was just fine. Is this piano competition? Ah, I see someone else wants to take this class. False. No one asked you, Denny. Anyways, you might have noticed the empty keyboard over there. Miss Ackle, take a seat if you'd like. Okay. Thanks for waiting for me, Dr. Thompson. Please, call me Kevin. Hannah's new here. I would like to go into detail, but the folks upstairs are pressuring me to get this class up and running before midterms. So for the time being, thanks for joining us, Hannah. All right, so up to now, we've been talking about notes and scales and basic chord progression. We're going to apply this to a project. Project? Did you think we were going to have a test, Steve? Did you want a test? No. Then okay. Please let me talk for a bit. Your job is to write a song about love. Everyone views it differently, so make it personal. Just your thoughts in a piano. That's all there is to it. You'll be graded based on whether or not your piece tells a story through music. Use what we've learned about tonal shifts to explain what love means to you. That's pretty subjective, don't you think? I know. Music is subjective. That's why you're here, to express yourself. What if we don't know where to start? Gentlemen, and lady, he speaks. And why would that happen? I mean, it's just kind of hard. That's why you have a month to do it. Sorry, I didn't make myself clear. You are free to go during class during the next month, but remember, this is due on November 1st. The plan is to eventually play this in front of an audience at a midterm concert. You're all seniors. This is an independent study. And I trust you on this. If you do not complete the assignment, I will fail you. Feel free to ask me anything at all. OK, everyone, please plug in your headphones and get to work.
know what we're supposed to be doing. What are you doing? Um, not the project, not yet. Uh, oh. Um, what's that your plan? Um, nothing really. Um, it's just a little something to get me in the creative mood. It's a little trick Kevin taught me. Huh. Guess I'll try that then. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Andrew. Andrew Reed. Oh, cool. I'm Hannah Echo. Oh. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Alright, well, I'll get back to it then. Alrighty then. How are you enjoying the class? Kevin, I have no idea what I'm doing. All I did in this class at my old school was combine random scales and chords and call it a song. You can't just combine random notes and call it art. You can't just expect me to write music out of thin air. Let me ask you a question. Why are you here? Why are you in this class? I want to make music. The assignment was to make an instrumental song based on what you think love is. What if I have no idea what love is? Everyone over the age of 13 knows enough about love to write about it. Do that with music. I don't know what to compose. What do you think about when you hear the word love? It changes depending on the day. It's kind of like a person. It has phases, and it can be damaged. It can be happy or sad or whatever, but the only thing I truly know is that it's more complicated than any human being. I think your issue is translating your thoughts to notes. You're not writing music out of thin air. You're an interpreter trying to communicate Hannah's thoughts to an audience. So ask yourself the question, who are you? I'm... Nope. Don't tell me. But ask yourself. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye, Hannah. Bye. You're such a hypocrite. A hypocrite? Yeah, you said it yourself. You have to get to know her before you like her. I, I do know her. Well, okay. You only had, like, one class with her. You wouldn't understand. Okay, fine. Explain it to me. Why do you like her? Why do you like this, uh, what's her name? Hannah. You're gonna laugh. Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I don't know, but it's something about the way she plays. It just resonates with me. Like, I don't even know anything about her except for what she plays. Okay, well, uh, you do you. So there's a party actually over at uh, Steve's house this weekend. He's in your composition class, right? Uh-huh. She might be there. What? No, sorry, look. I've got to work on the piano composition project, and then there's a recital in November. Hey man, you should come. Yeah man, I totally will. Wait a second. Don't you only work when you're like in the mood and you're like never in the mood? Well, I am now. Well, that's interesting. Um, well, in that case, I will see you at the dorm.
It's been a week and I have nothing. Oh, come on, man. You can do it. I guess at least I'm not Denny. He quit and just called it writer's block. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll salute you to it. Yeah. Good luck, man. Thanks. Say something? No, I mean, yes, but no, I, I, I wasn't talking to you. Oh, uh, okay then. Constance? Hannah, what brings you here? I figured out what I'm gonna do. Thanks so much. For what? I don't really know, but you helped, so thank you. I appreciate it. You're performing in two weeks, so your song needs to be ready by Friday. I need to hear it first. How are you supposed to write about love with no lyrics? I guess it's easy if you just keep playing until something pops in your head. There are only like four people in your class, right? Three. Well, really only two. Denny dropped out and Steve hasn't been to class in like a week. Who's the other guy? Andrew? Andrew Reed. Huh. Didn't know he played piano. Reed kid. Seems nice. He's always off in his own little world. Well, I mean, we're supposed to be off in our own little world in that class. No, I mean, he's always in his own little world. I wonder what the hell goes on in that kid's head. <laughs> me too. Don't tell me you're into the kid. Who's that? Just some guy I met on Insta. Damn, you got him lined up. Look at him, Ava. <laughs> well... <laughs> See you tomorrow. See ya. Bye.
Thank you, everyone, and thank you to our amazing sax player. To close out our evening, we're going to end with two original compositions. These two talented young composers worked tirelessly to write songs based on their interpretations about the word love. Our first composer is our newest student, Hannah Atko. Thank you, Hannah. That was wonderful. OK, and now for our final performance, Mr. Andrew Reed. of applause for our lovely musician. Thank you, and thank you all for supporting the arts and our musicians tonight. This concludes our concert. Have a wonderful weekend.
Hi. Hi.